Hi guys, welcome to the first edition of Salsa Talk. My name is Mori Crispijn. I am from the Netherlands, salsaventura.tv. And um, I'm more than happy to welcome you here at this very first edition of what I call Salsa Talk. Well, why would you make a video that you call Salsa Talk? And I came up to the idea quite some time ago when I was looking for some relevant information on internet about salsa dancing today and there are very few websites that actually go into let's say the more detailed parts of dancing and when we talk about connection with your partner or musicality or how to use a musical break or how to he even hear a musical break coming that's all great stuff and uh, that i think is nice to talk about so that's why i want to share my side on uh, some topics and again welcome to this first edition today we're going to talk about something fascinating and that is what we call how to be asked for a dance and i almost had the title of how to always be asked for a dance but there's always some exception but maybe you recognize this as a guy you go to a party and you're just too afraid to ask somebody to dance or maybe you're one of those ladies that goes to a party together with some friends or maybe by yourself and you finally took the decision to get over your fear and you go you know what the heck i'm just going to the party and then you're there on the dance floor and nobody is asking you to dance now how do you deal with that and even more important how do you get on the dance floor and how are you enlarging your possibilities of being asked now i'm going to go to a to a short list and I hope that it will help you um, yeah, to understand how it works and be sure that you, um, that you like the site, that you become a member. So you get, stay tuned and you get all the updates on salsaventura.tv. Now, the first thing that I would recommend you to do is move on the music. When you are at a party and you are standing um, at the side of the dance floor and you are not moving, so you're standing still, then I, as a guy, might wonder if you want to dance or not. And since it's quite painful also for men, ladies, to be refused for a dance, um, many times we just skip and we go, mm, let me find someone else uh, who tends to be more eager to dance. And how do we... And how do we see that you're eager to dance? That's when you're moving. So tip number one is move. When you are on the side of a dance floor and you're not dancing yet, move. Just be on your own and just move to the music so we can see that you're totally ready to dance. If you are a lady and you don't mind to ask guys to dance, guys, for you it's the same. When you are on the side, you show people that you want to move. And you're kind of moving, some body movement, or you're doing some basic step. It's going to be so easy. Actually, people that will pass you by will almost feel guilty not to ask you to dance because they can just see, you know, you're ready to go. Okay, so that's the first point. The second one, keep standing up. Okay, keep standing up and do not sit down. When you sit down on a chair, many times we might think that you're tired. So there is no reason to ask you to dance because it might feel like, okay, here we go again and you're going to get up. Most people that are at the point of dancing are not sitting down. So please be sure to stay standing up. The third one is make eye contact. When you are on the side of the dance floor, you're looking down all the time. You're kind of looking up it doesn't show much interest to get on the dance floor. So please be sure to make eye contact. And many times the allowance or let's say the acceptance of you as a person many times can be seen in your eyes. When you are having, you know, a smile on your face, you're having some eye contact. And many times if it feels okay, people will ask you to come and dance. Well, and I actually mentioned straight Please keep smiling, okay? If you're there on the side of the room with a very serious face, most people are going to be afraid to be refused, okay? And people find it painful not to be accepted if they ask you to dance, so be sure you keep smiling. Now, when you are there at a certain point of the room, you might be, you know, if you're there for like half an hour and nobody is asking you to dance, you might be on a spot where it just doesn't happen so easy for example there are quite some people that stand if i enter a dance room and i just enter the door and i see people there immediately close to the entrance usually i feel more comfortable in entering the room 
a little more. So usually about halfway down the room, I will start looking like, you know, I hear the music better most of the time. And many times that is when I will start looking for a partner to dance. Now, when you are at as close to the door, it might seem that you're about to leave the room or that you just enter or that you're just checking it out. So if you are on one spot, and nobody's asking you to dance for like half an hour or 15 minutes, move, move to somewhere else. Now, I don't know how it is in your country, but here in Holland, the most fanatic dancers can always be found around the DJ. That's how it is here in Holland. I don't know how it is where you are, but most of the time that's the case. So if you're not a very fanatic dancer, uh, I would suggest that you look somewhere in the, in the, um, in, in let's say halfway down the room there's some messages coming in okay look like halfway down the room but don't go too close to the dj if the most fanatic dancers are there and you're afraid to dance with a very fanatic dancer okay so that's another tip so move through the room if on one place it's not working then a nice tip is plan ahead so let's say um, you 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 run into a friend or you just uh, see someone or somebody is um walking up to you or you're standing next to someone and uh, you just get a talk to someone. Okay. Hey, how are you? You know, you just see someone that you know, Hey, how are you? You're okay. And then what is a very nice thing to do is say, Hey, do you, uh, do you want to dance a bachata later on? Or do you want to dance a salsa song later on? Or shall we dance later on? You kind of make a reservation for the dance. What is also nice is when you're in the salsa room and let's say you're asking somebody to dance and the person says, ah, no, you can always say, should I come back later? It's very hard to say no to a suggestion like that, okay? So I would advise you to, um, to kind of plan your dance ahead, okay? Most people will react very positive to that. And then, this is a big one for ladies. Ask, ask men to dance. If you want to. Yeah, the messages keep popping up. And um, ask them to dance, you know? And... Um, now, I do know some ladies, they always tell me, you know, I'm not going to ask a guy to dance with me. And I always ask them, why not? You know, what's, what's, what's the point? And then they say, well, you know, I'm a bit, bit old fashioned. I like them to ask me. Ladies, let me assure you this. 95% of all men that I know of like to be asked for a dance. Same goes for me. You know, if a lady ask me to dance first of all i'm a teacher and most people know me when i'm at a party so i do understand that when a lady asks me to dance and i don't know her she probably did quite some effort um to step over a little bit of fear at least to dance with me i'm not saying that goes for everyone but a lot of ladies tend to be a little bit afraid when they have to ask uh, a teacher or um, a show dancer for a dance. So I always appreciate it a lot when ladies come to ask me for a dance. So ladies, if it's a very good dancer or, a, you know, a show dancer or a teacher or a famous dancer, I know it's going to be a little bit harder, but also those people many times like to be asked for a dance. So, you know, and, and then of course, if you have, if you have seen a dancer that, and you like his style and you like his way of dancing, then just go ahead, you know, and go and ask them for a dance. And the same goes for guys. I mean, guys, if you're afraid to ask a lady to dance, get over your fear and just ask them. Okay. It's not that hard. What you should not do is if you ask a lady to dance and she says no, which might happen, then you can do two things. You can say, show we dance later on. Many times they, uh, they will react positive. Yeah, sure. But please, what you should not do is ask the lady next to the lady you just asked. Okay, it's like she will feel second or third or fourth choice. Like, hey, you don't want to dance? Hey, do you want to dance? And do you want to dance? Many times you will get a no. Okay, so when that first lady goes no, okay, you know, maybe you want to dance later on, no problem. They just wait. Uh, maybe you walk to the other side of the room and ask a lady there or, you know, or do something else. But please do not ask the lady that's standing next to you. And then the final tip, guys. That say yes, always say yes. If you're one of those people, men or women, it doesn't matter, um, and you want to dance, 
then please be sure that you say yes, because there are many times ladies, they might want to dance with you. And then when one lady asks you and you say no, the second one will also be afraid to ask you. And the same goes vice versa. If I'm a guy and I see a guy asking a lady that I would like to dance with and the lady goes no, then I start wondering why would she say yes to me? So many times then I don't ask her either. You know, it makes sense because I just take it as a sign that she's not in the mood of dancing at that moment. So many times I will wait. Okay, so if you are eager to dance, then please say yes to anyone getting on the dance floor. Okay, guys. Well, I hope to see you back on the next edition. I'm going to uh, do my best to place a salsa talk every week. Let's talk salsa. And please put some topics down below. I'm very curious what you want to hear more about. What do you want to know? I mean, I wrote tons of blogs, but they're all in Dutch is uh, for example about dancing on two about leading and following about how to remember all the moves um, how to add styling to your dancing anything okay guys so let's talk salsa if you want to check out more videos and more instructions then go to salsaventura.tv we have a huge deal there you can try it out at this very moment for one year or only and then you have all the options to check it out okay guys see you next time and uh, see you maybe on the dance floor have a great week ciao